Hello guys and welcome back to the rising tide. I am Kimbi and in this video I will be showing you how to create this a custom uh, data and picker in react native so when you click on this button it's going to bring up a date time picker showing you uh, the ability to choose a date you can choose you can uh, click up here to select a month or a particular year if uh, it is very far it is a uh, very far in the past so that's what we'll be doing in this video so with this date time picker you have the ability to change it to pick uh, either time date and time or some other complex functionality such as um, change the UI to show a different like a slider or different uh, user different UI so that's what we'll be building in this video if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and uh, let's get started all right so here I have a blank react native project with just a single component that says date time picker so if I check out this component as you can see I only have a text here saying date time picker which is what is displaying here so the first thing we need to do is we need to install a couple of dependencies for our project that is the date time picker so i'm just going to open my terminal here and i'm going to run the command yarn add and i'll give you the name of the library which is add react native community and if you give it a date time picker and you hit enter and that's going to install it so this is the library i'm going to leave the script on how to install this in the description of the video so i already have it installed so i'm just going to cancel this and i'll go back into our project so back into our project the, the, you now need to call that library so i'm just going to remove this text here and i will now call the date the date time uh time picker and i'm going to import it up here so i'll come here and i'll say import from from add react native the time picker we're going to import uh the date time picker library so yes this one so uh, there are a couple of properties that you need to pass for in order for it to work so i'm just going to just pass them now the first one is the unchange function so you need to call unchange and give it the function that you want it to run so i'm just going to call the handle date change uh date change now create this function up here so i'll come here and i'll say cons handle the change now this function is going to take in two properties which i'll pass them in a second the first one is the event that is the type of event that happens when you click on the button if it's a cancel or a submit event and the second one is uh, the selected date pressing this date wrong. second one is selected it so uh, down here we're going to give it some other property which is uh, the mode that, that that you want to display so there are a lot of modes inside this library for instance date date time uh, as you can see here date date time countdown I'm just going to select the date because that's one you want to see right now and uh i guess that is the basics of what you need to have it running so I'll save that and that is going to reload my application it says all right i'm supposed to pass in a value prop as well that's also required because you must have an initial date to start from so i'm going to set the value to being a state i'll give it a call i'll just call it date or we'll create a new date so let's create this date up here so at the top of a component i'm just going to call the use date hook and saying using this snippet i'm just going to create this state set the state to by default set it to null so by default there is no date we save that and that is just and that's going to fix that uh that error so as you can see the date is now displaying um one thing you we did in our final product is that we actually made use of a button that is used to toggle uh the date date so i'm just going to copy it on my external screen and paste it in right now so i'll copy and paste it in here and then as for the styles for the for the button i'm just going to copy it as well so just copy it and paste it down here
I said touchable, but this not imported. So let me just import that here, and then uh, the function just set model. So, so we're going to change this here to say we'll create a different state, and we'll call it show picker because this is this is the button that uh, toggles the picker to either that toggles this uh, picker library. So I'm going to set it to by default to false. And um, down here, when you say on when you press on this button, I want to change this function to say show picker to true. So we set show picker to true. So this is like a simple button with a style that has this text inside that says open uh, date picker. And uh, when you click on it, it's going to open this deep picker library so i'm going to save that now and that should fix all of our errors so if i can't see this you can see this is that button being displayed so down here we need to now pass in um our conditional ranging so that our button can work so down here i'm going to say if show picker we're now just going to say it should open this component so i'll wrap it inside this curly braces now push this up so now when you click on the button it's going to uh pull up the show picker and when you click on okay it's going to cancel so for now this uh set date isn't doing anything so now let's create the functionality to set the date so we just need to all right so we just need to say if the event type is set Is equal to because like i said there are three different events there is set there is dismiss when you click on cancel that dismiss is going to run event type is going to be dismissed so we'll say if the if if it is a set function we're going to create a new date so okay current date is equal to selected date selected date or date and uh, down here we're just going to say set the date to that current date so if i try to lock in that current date down here say lock this current date um and if you check the console ignore all these other warnings this is a practice that i was doing before uh but now I set the date as you can see this is our date string being set so this is it's like the current value of this uh set date string this this is down here so like i said you can change the mode of this to show the time or whatever so if i come here and i change it to time we're going to have a time picker instead so if i click on this you can see we have a time picker and even with this time picker you can you can also change um you can also change the type if it's 24 hours so there's a property code if it's 24 hour which you can set to true or false so i'm just going to set it to true by default it is false and then if i can't click ok if i click on it again it's going to bring in a 24 hour timer so i don't know if it's Alright, so after setting this date to, to the current date, what we need to do is we need to remove the show image picker. So we need to set show image picker to false. If not so, we are going to have errors after closing it. I set it to false now and alright, so as you can see it is now 24 hours. So if I click on this, I can now click on something else and yeah, so that is it so if i click on it again it will show because uh, i'm actually closing it after that so i can just click like 20 2000 if you're like in the french or in a military country i don't know so um yeah so that is uh, basically the gist of it so if you want to uh change some of the handlers you can also have other event handlers such as on touch cancel 
on touch castle on touch end on the, any of these events so you can attach any of these events to it you can also change the text of the of the button All right so this is here it says okay and uh, cancel and okay so you can also change the text of it to say something else so if i come here confirm btn text i can set it to something else say confirm instead of okay i can set it to confirm and uh, a similar thing i can set this one to dismiss this one will be cancel cancel btn text so uh, here you can customize this button to take the button text you want to change the color and everything but first for some reason those customizations are not working on my emulator but i'm sure if you if, if anyone has any uh, fix for that please uh, let me know in the comments and uh, i'll really appreciate it so uh, that's uh, basically the gist of it uh, thank you guys for watching to the end and uh, please subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you and bye